हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर वीडियो ऑफ द आर्ट ऑफ स्पीड अब सीरीज इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फिंगर अब इन दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ आवर फिंगर हाउ वी डू डायरेक्ट मेथड एडिशन बाई यूजिंग आवर फिंगर अब इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द अब टूल सो एज यू कैन सी This is a 17 rod abacus tool. Now, talking about the detail of this tool, the outer part of the tool is called frame of the tool. You can see there is a line or horizontal line separating this tool into two separate decks. That is upper deck and lower deck. So this horizontal line is called value bar. whenever any value will touch the value bar we are going to consider that bits value okay you can see there are five white dots on the value bar these are called unit dots there are 17 vertical rods now You can see in the upper deck there are only one bits right coming to the values of each bit the upper deck bits has value 5 that you can consider our right hand thumb okay and you can see there are four bits in the lower deck on all on each rods so each value has value 1 that you can consider our right hand side finger so before going for any calculation or any representation of the number first we have to clear our tool that means no bit should touch the value bar how to do that with the help of a pinch okay so pinch and So now as you can see no bits are touching the value bar suppose now we will see what is the right technique to hold a abacus tool so right technique is this is called rabbit mouth and we should do that in our left hand okay abacus tool will always placed on a horizontal surface we shouldn't hold it on a vertical way or in any another way so you need to hold the abacus tool with left hand okay with rabbit mouth that is thumb and index and the middle finger right and pencil can be hold with the right hand Now let's see how we can move the bits. As we have already discussed, if a bit will touch the value bar, then only we'll consider its value. Suppose we'll move our bits with the help of thumb. The right technique to move the bits are with the help of left hand, and your right hand will be free to hold the pencil. Okay? So the lo lower deck has value four. Thus, the center unit dot. This is the center one. There are five. One, two, three, four, five. The third unit dot or the center unit dot. This rod is unit place rod. So in this rod, we'll place all our unit digit numbers or single digit number. Okay. Now. one bit move and it is touching the value bar so now in this stage the abacus tool is showing number 1 2 3 4 okay one bit i separated this bit is not this bit is not touching the value bar so now the value is 3 value is 2 now 1 2 
and 0. So when we want to use 0 in our calculation, then we shouldn't move any bit on that rod. Okay. So now the upper deck bit is touching the value bar. So in this case, the upper crush tool is showing value of 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. Now the immediate rod left to our center rod represents our tens place number. So the tens uh, uh, place number of any uh, tens place digit of any number will be represented on this left side rod. Suppose the number is 11. How to represent 11? One is the tens place rod, one is the unit place rod. 25. 2 is 10th place rod, 5 in 1's place rod. 96. How to represent 96? In 96, 9 is the 10th place rod. So 9 will go on this uh, left side rod of the center rod. 9, 96. Okay. Coming to the values of this rod, the center rod represents the unit unit number, unit place number. The left immediate left side rod of this center rod represents tens place number, hundred place number, thousand place number, so on and so forth. So this is from the center unit dot towards if we'll proceed to the left direction. If we will proceed to the right side direction, the decimal uh, number will come. So on the immediate right side rod, it represents 0 0.1. Next 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, a number has been represented like this 2 7 so this can be read as 2.7 okay suppose a number is 5 3 4 right because in this rod only upper upper bit is touching the value bar then three bits are touching the value bar then four bits are touching the value bar so the value will be 53 point because after the center rod decimal number will come 53.4 now let's see how to represent a thousand uh, four digit number Four digit number will come on the fourth rod to the left side of center rod. Suppose a number is 2358. So 2000. 2000 will come here. 358. And uh, there is one more tip. Uh, if you want to place any number above 5 that is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 first teach the kid to move the upper dig that is 5 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7 plus 1, 8 plus 1, 9 similarly if we need to place 78 so first do not move the lower bit first touch, move the fifth bit that is 50, 60, 70 and 8 again 5 6 7 8 in this way there is a less chance of doing any mistake thank you so much see you in the next video